Several high profile races are on the ballot, including the race for governor. Here's what you need to know to cast your vote early. Early voting begins today for state and federal races. The big ones in Tennessee are governor, Senate and House. Knox County has 10 early voting locations open Monday through Friday. You can vote at any of them through November 1st. All you need to bring is a photo ID that includes a driver's license or passport. The passport can even be expired. If you can't make it out to vote before November 1st, you'll have to wait until Election Day on November 6th to vote in your precinct. Several, state right, several statewide races are getting a lot of attention, and that includes the race for governor and the U.S. Senate race between Marsha Blackburn and Phil Bredesen, now the most expensive in state history. But there are other offices that are also getting our attention. This race marks round three for incumbent Eddie Smith and candidate Gloria Johnson for the House of Tennessee Representatives District 13 seat. Smith defeated Johnson in 2014 and 2016 by less than 400 votes combined. Libertarian candidate Zachary Houck is also on the ballot. And in the District 89 race, two political newcomers are vying for the chance to represent West Knox County. Republican Justin Lafferty and Democrat Colleen Martinez are running for the open seat. Three-term Representative Roger Kane stepped down to take the education liaison job under Knox County Mayor Glenn Jacobs. And voters will also choose the replacement for Congressman Jimmy Duncan in the U.S. House of Representatives. Republican and former Knox County Mayor Tim Burchett is facing Democrat Renee Hoyas. And the winner will be the first congressman not named Duncan to represent the district in nearly 50 years. Now we have a complete list of early voting guidelines on our website at WBAR.com. It'll also link you to your sample ballot, plus it'll include when and where you can cast your ballot early. Again, early voting starts today and runs through November 1st. Election day is November 6th. For more details on how to cast your vote, head over to our website at WBAR.com.